what's up all you people? Ooh. <laughs> I got some birthday money for only $56. It is in two bucks cheaper. That's fee equals 54. SH Monster, it's 1954. Holy smokes. This looks amazing already. Um, so the front of the box, you got the photo of the figure with like a very black and white eerie old tiny feel. You got the window with the slashes of him and looking at it, it looks amazing. It looks amazing. I can't see if I got another lazy eye. Both of them just, I mean, if it's not, Godzilla has like lazy eyes and just, they don't, it wasn't me perfectly. He's just a big, scarred up, rocky, just very scaly creature in the movie. It's also kind of funny how I bought this for $56 because the American version came out in 1956. Okay, here's him with derp on the back. Promotional photos on the side. Got slash. Got slashes. And this is one starts nineteen fifty four. Top more slashes, same thing. And on the bottom, cut him with his awesome neck and legal dragon. Let's cut him out. Slicing them up. Careful. I got all the boxes. I got, I'm keeping all these boxes, by the way. Don't think like, oh, do you throw away the boxes? If you do, I'm gonna come to you and just go. <laughs> oh, golly. But I do keep the boxes. The boxes are like another key point of this line. And I did see some reviews on. The 2016 one, and one of them, you should know who I'm talking about, he just did not have the best experience with the 2016. But, honestly, I think the figure does not look half bad. Um, it looks really nice. The detail, holy cow, is just it's on point. And, um, yeah, put that back in there. Also, I am considering making this video when I edited in video shop black and white, so you might be seeing me in black and white right now. Alright, so here he is, and it's plastic, and I can, I can see, let's see here, looking kind of forward and down. Okay, oh, that's not too bad. It, it, it's not too bad. It's not horrible. It is kind of a little off, but it's not horrible. Alright, let's come on. Okay. If you watch Gojira the Zilla, then yeah, I'm friends with him too. Alright, get some of that plastic out of there. Fresh vinyl. Also, the same person that I was talking about, he was just probably getting a very big experience of fresh vinyl. How long has it been since I got an SH Monster Arts? Was it ever since? King Adora, when was that? May? Ever since May, I've gotten an SH Monster Arts, so yeah, it's just, it feels extra good to open one out of the plastic boxes. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, boy. Alright, um, no accessories, but for $56, which I got it for, um, except unless for like the seventy five dollars or something like that. Uh this figure's great. Uh oh. Okay. They're not as bad as I thought they'd be. Uh it is snowing outside. And this just got delivered in the snow. So yeah, this is a little bit cold and stiff, but uh heat it up a little, get it let it get adapt to the warm warmness of my house. Ah, oh, that's all one section. Oh, I thought it was all the way. Um. 
Okay, so let's get on to some of the first details and then uh, we can get moving on. I will shut my curtains because YouTube recommends an overcast, but with the snow, it's just almost as equal as a bright and sunny day, which they do not recommend. Okay, I'll be right back and we'll get on to all the figures. Okay, so let's get on to uh, the details. And uh, for the paint, I'm going to keep this as uh, black and white because, uh, yeah, I just really want this to be kind of realistic for some reason. But, I mean, if you really want to see the paint, it's just a very dark gray and the spines are light gray. And, uh, yeah, just, even and the claws aren't painted, but, I mean... We don't really see that much detail because it was in the 50s and there was never like a recolor. And I was, I'm really interested to see like what the recolor would look like. Uh, maybe just the same exact thing. It was like, I don't know. But ah, who cares? This is just basically the paint job. It's just a whole black and white 1950s feel. Okay, and then he's just very rigid and scaly throughout the entire figure. All the way down, and uh, he, this is very nice detail. It's just very, very nicely sculpted and with all the scales and every everything, and then the tail's nice and just very nice figure. And then like on the head, very nice detail on the head. Let's get a nice shot of that. Let's see the eyes when I. For me, it's uh, kind of in the middle and looking down. And uh, probably the same exact thing for uh, the other eye. And then his teeth are uh, light gray, like the spines, or a normal gray. The tongue, well, let's, get, let's take a look at it. And he's got fangs, which get in the way of using other atomic breath parts. Like the best one would probably be the emergence versions, but I don't have that, and I would just. If I were to get it, I would just want the um, atomic breath. Very nice detail all the way down. Okay, articulation. Alright, uh, with this, you can look very nice and high up. And he can do that, like, it makes him way bigger. Or you can make them, um, well, let's not do that yet, but you can make them go kind of hunch, which is really stinking awesome. And then the mouth can open up really big there, which is really awesome. It's one of my favorite parts about this figure so far. And then we have movement in the arms, which are pretty stiff, but yeah. Mine, at least. Yeah, you can get some good motion in the arms. And then the elbows, as always, really good. Nice swivel. It probably still needs to heat up and loosen. And rotation all the way throughout the hands. And then, what else do we got? Oh, the, the hips and the waist. Just make it move all the way, like make it move like over the side. It's as I said, it's still pretty stiff. But I mean, once you get this guy heated up, you can get this guy into very nice poses and very lots of motion. And then for the legs, um, 360. It's hard to see that and move the legs like up and down which is really cool mm. the nice bend in the knees and then the feet very cool very nice. and then the tail ball joints all throughout every segment so you can have them go up flat down even like a little like that we 
which makes it look really cool. Just very awesome, authentic shot. Oh yeah, this arm's got better motion. If you, yeah, you can do it at 360 degrees, and I'm having no troubles with anything popping out for the first time. I mean, I'm looking at 1964. Yeah, he's got a pretty bad arm that isn't probably not even on the socket. It's probably just stuck on there, and the tip of the tail always keeps falling off. Um, the Heisei, the 1999 uh, Rebirth, the tail tip again. <laughs> Uh, 1994 first release, little wrist. Uh, 2000 repaint. Um, the jaw. Um, it used to do that, but it's not that bad anymore. And then the tip of the tail again. Uh, 2014, just multiple parts in the tail, but it's not that hard to pop them off. And King Ghidorah. Middle head jaw. Um, first segment in the left hands the left arm whichever one um one of the tails tips and one of the middle parts of one of the other tail so yeah and then finally we got really nothing popping off on this one you can get this guy into really cool poses look at that this is probably the best tail I've ever gotten and he can pinch a little Watch out. And you can probably get this guy into a lying down pose if I can do that. Or, aka, a swimming pose. Which we don't see in actually in the movie. But you can get done in that jaw set. Anyways, so that is my review on SH Monster Arts 1954. Be on the lookout for a figure fight because I do have the NECA version, so be ready for that. Also, speaking of figure fights, 1994, NECA versus SH Monster Arts should be out soon. It depends when I'm able to do it. It will probably be out late tonight because I'm going to a party. Um, no further detail, just a party. No further detail. No further detail. Anyway, so that's my review on the SH Monster 1954 Godzilla. And um, I love this figure. I think it's a really great figure. It's definitely going up my shelf of evolution. And yeah, that's all I have to say about it. Thanks for watching. And finally. Goodbye. It's the original. He's back after 62 years. He's God. Uh, I should go. <laughs> Why am I doing that? This is like the stuff I would do after recording. Ah. <sighs>